Who's ready for a ride? Well, you're in the right place. We got some good UFO sightings for you tonight. So let me tell you, it's that time again. Buckle up, everybody. We've got it. Let's just go out to Columbia right now. A broad daylight, crystal clear sighting of a flying saucer. Take a look at this. Se quedó estátil, se quedó quietecito. Se quedó quieto, no, no se mueve. En un solo punto. Será un oni. Es que mira que no se mueve, hace ratico está ahí. Y ese aparatico atrás era el que lo, lo está guiando. Es que mire que no se mueve, vea, ahí está en el mismo punto. We're getting a closer look at this Colombian sighting of what appears to be a metallic flying saucer captured in broad daylight. It's kind of weird because when you're looking at it, when you get a closer look, it seems to shape shift in a way. It has this arrow shape kind of look in the beginning, then it kind of turns into a disc shape. Is this thing morphing up there? What the heck is it? It's not a drone in my opinion. Uh, Brent, I want to get your thoughts and also Thank you, everybody, for joining us in this live premiere. We want to get your comments as well. Brent, go ahead. Yeah, what's up, guys, to everybody in the chat? Great to see you again. What is this? Uh, look at this broad daylight sighting. It does look metallic, like Blake just said earlier. I do notice there's some sort of, like, escort next to this object. You can see it right above the top right hand of this craft. Could this be an escort drone? It's super tiny. Look at it. If we're looking at this object, it does look like it does have some size to it. The original saucer itself, I'm estimating it to be maybe about 30 to 40 feet. And looking at this other object, it almost looks like maybe a size of a football, the escort. What's your opinion, Blake? Yeah, I'm going to get a little enhancement here. Get a little uh, still photograph of this craft. You see it. It's escorting uh, the other ship. What is this? It seems super tiny in comparison to uh, this disc-shaped metallic object. And what's up with these broad daylight sightings coming out of South America? Why are we seeing these flying discs in America anymore? Why is it only in the South American region nowadays? Are the UFOs in America upgrading? Well, I have a photograph for you that was just submitted to me via Sean. He reached out to me via my Gmail and he said he was looking for answers. He captured this photograph. He noticed an object that he says, please find attached this picture of a craft he photographed a few weeks back. He says the craft moved over the ocean at a huge speed, then stopped instantly as it reached the beach. He said it stood stationary for about 10 seconds and that's when the photo was taken. What we're looking at right now is incredible. Look at the detail on this. He says then it disappeared back to the way it came at a massive speed. At the time, he only saw a single craft, but on inspection, he says he sees some kind of unknown object in the four o'clock position. He said he sent it to us for two reasons. Firstly, the shape of the craft is very unique. Absolutely, Sean. I have never seen a craft that looks like this in all my years doing it. 
this archive collection from the public. It's, it's kind of interesting. He says, secondly, I'd really like a professional opinion on what it might be. Well, uh, as we say, we're not experts here. We're just uh, giving out the information. We do uh, leave our opinions, but let me tell you, we're not experts. We're just experts at getting the information out as fast as possible. And again, this was just submitted uh, just within 24 hours. So we're happy to share Sean's incredible photograph. Now, uh, Brent, what's your thoughts on this incredible, uh, you know, craft? It's very, very bizarre. You kind of see this wing shape, uh, fins on the top. Like it almost resembles, I don't even know what it resembles, Brent. Any idea what kind of meta propulsion craft is this? Yeah, guys, anybody in the chat, uh, let us know if you've ever seen anything like this. I sure have it. This is very unique, as Sean said. I noticed the kind of like three shark fins at the top of this, and then the folded wing edge down at the bottom, and then this conical shape that kind of looks like it could be the propulsion at the end of it. It's very weird, and I do believe there's no Photoshop. What we're looking at is the real deal. I, I really like Shane's description on what he saw. Again, anybody in the chat or in the comments, if you know what this is, let us know because I'm still scratching my head. This looks like something otherworldly, nothing in our assets. I'm thinking this is more alien tech rather than anything else. Your opinion, Blake? Well, it definitely has some conventional attributes to it with the, the wing shape and the emulation of a shark fin it's it's interesting you got three jagged edges up on top and then you got this folded wing shape on the bottom left hand to the craft and then this conical uh, edge on the right what is it is this a propulsion behind it again secret space force comes to mind um, some secret military asset that we're not aware of I'm waiting to see this in the Pentagon's archive, but you saw it right here at Third Phase of Moon, this very unique shaped craft. Sean explains that it came at a high rate of speed over the ocean. It stopped, he was able to capture this incredible photograph and then it took off from where it came. So Sean, again, I appreciate this submission right here at Third Phase of Moon, incredible stuff. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Now, we asked Rich from Goofon to go over some of the incredible archive right here at Third Phase of Moon. He had some opinions. Guys, buckle up, check this out. I'm Rich Giordano reporting. As we go down the vortex or wormhole of life, back onto the digital highway, into the corridor of the unknown. Tonight, we're gonna take you into the sky to see some UFOs, a strange anomaly, we don't know what to call it, and something in Antarctica. Here we go, buckle up. Meu Deus, olha o tanto de estrela, cara. Parece coisa caindo. Olha lá, que show, cara. Cara, meu. Não tem explicação a altura que isso está. Tipo uma cachoeira de fogo, olha só. Que coisa mais linda, meu, hein. Cara, parece aqueles fogos de artifício, meu, hein. Olha lá. Os mais de cima são mais vermelhos, Meu Deus, cara. A câmera não pega direito. Porque tá muito longe. Cara do céu, que show, meu. Que lindo, meu. Hein? Meu Deus. Que Nova Iguaçu. Eu tô filmando isso, olha que espetáculo, céu. Meu Deus, cara. Ficou só duas, desapareceu uma agora, olha só, uma piscando, meu Deus, cara. Não sei se filma ou olha o espetáculo, cara. Meu Deus, cara. <risos> Olha lá, cara. Você sumiu, não? Ah, 
isso aqui não tem, a câmera não tem esse poder de filmar, de conseguir aproximar. Oh, agora tá só uma. So we've got some other videos coming up, but I want to get everybody's opinion in the live premiere that we're doing on the side and in the comments below of what we just witnessed. And I want to get Brent's thoughts. Do you think uh, these are drones up in the skies? What's this all about? What could cause this? Wow, what are these culminations of strange lights? You could see a pattern and if these are connected, it would be a huge starcraft. I'm looking at the distance and it seems to be maybe about a mile away from the cameraman and if that's the case, we're looking at something that's very large hovering in the sky. Yeah, I'm trying to wrap my brain around exactly what we're looking at. Could it be possibly a drone suspending uh, light LED lights and creating some kind of a spectacle in the sky, some kind of hoax somebody's trying to pull off? I'm not sure. It doesn't seem so. We don't hear any kind of a drone sounds whatsoever. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what it is. And again, that's why we're opening up the chat below and the chat in the premiere so we could get your opinions of what we're looking at right here at third phase of moon we get a lot of ufo sightings and like i said we don't get it right all the time well 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 this is a little bit interesting now isn't it you know i've seen this a few times and every time i i say i'm gonna get it right i'm gonna figure it out because you immediately want to think it's drones but then if things were being connected to the drones we would see some sort of wobble. You might even hear them. You might see if something was dangling from drones, they would be kind of swaying back and forth. You know, it's hard to dangle something from a drone without it wobbling. I know. I've tried it. And unless you have a big drone, you're not going to be able to get it in succession in equidistant apart like this if you just not so let's think what else it can be fireworks i don't see any kind of binding to these lights like in between i would see a string or some sort of tether you know what else could it be uh chinese lanterns nope can't be that they're not all swaying in the same direction unless there's six or seven going up turning off blinking coming back on not happening interesting i don't know what do you guys think yeah i know tough right let's go to the next video The story behind this video gets kind of interesting because it wasn't just one person, it was a whole neighborhood that witnessed these lights. It was early in the hours in Pori Rua when Theodora Fafia left home and spotted three lights hovering up in the dark skies above her town. She didn't know what it was. She is with her cousin and they both spotted the lights and they were wondering what it was. She filmed them on her phone and for a few seconds spotted the same thing. She was uh, leaving home in the morning. She says when she spotted these big lights just hovering over her city, she doesn't have a clue what it could be, but people are wondering, could this be extraterrestrial in origin? One person comments and said they saw, but no one had a definite theory on what these lights were. Uh, they said they were very creepy, but Again, the town has no idea what these were, and this happened just moments ago, and the New Zealand paper picked up on it, so the local media is sharing this story, but I want to get more people on the ground over there. If they witness this, 
I want to get your videos. You got to send it over to me right here at Third Phase of Moon because uh, right away I'm going to rule out any kind of parachuters, pyrotechs. No, this is something else. These lights seem to remain stationary. Brent, I want to get your thoughts. What do you think is going on here? Yeah, I like the way she actually zoomed up on the UFO and it really captured her eye. And then she went down to record the time that this happened. So it gives an approximate time for people in the New Zealand area to know if they caught the same event. And what I'm looking at is a series of lights that really resemble nothing as of drones or something that's in our assets. What we're looking at is something that can't be explained, Blake. So this witness saw these lights coming home at night after work. And it looks to me, now she takes this route often. It looks like there's something on a mountain, but there is no mountain. That's in the sky. So she's showing the time. And then when she leaves the next day, she sees it again because it's still dark in the morning and she sees it again it looks like there's you know how when you have lights and they project themselves onto a structure it looks like that and if that's up in the sky and there's nothing of a mountain or anything crane some sort of device that i don't see it would be huge it looks like it's shining on an object in the sky. It's one of my favorite ones. It's so weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's, it's not flares. It's not drones. No. And she saw it. I don't know. Maybe it's lights from the ground. Maybe we just can't tell. But you can see the city line in, the, in some, some sort of haze or fog. Interesting. Let's go to the next one. Third phase of Moon's Blake Cousins. Welcome back, everybody. The month is new, but the UFOs continue to come in, and we've got three new ones coming in. Two from MUFON and another video coming out of Columbia. Let's just get to it. This incredible sighting coming out of California. Let's just roll the video. back and forth, like up and down. It's so weird. Whoa. What the hell is that? All right, let's get a closer look. What was captured over Lemon Grove, California, just a few days ago, submitted to MUFON. We're taking a look. I'm trying to get a close-up look at it and see whatever this bright feature is in the middle of this. What would you say, Brandon? Is this some kind of trail, a contrail left in the sky and it's being highlighted? What's going on here? Yeah, this is crazy footage, Blake. As soon as I saw it, I was kind of thinking, could this be like a fishing line kind of reflecting off the sun? But hell no, what this thing is, it's high up in the sky and it's huge. And what is that highlighted object in the center of this trail? It's, it's kind of fascinating. You can see the close-up, there's a ripple in between this string of lights. Yeah, I've seen contrails in my day, uh, lots of them. And you know what? We don't share them very often unless there's some kind of a weird anomaly going on. And that's what we're getting with this video in broad daylight over Lemon Grove, California, this MUFON submission. I'm going to be supplying the original link below. 
Uh, what is going on and why is this so brightly lit in the center of this cloud? Is there some kind of chemical going on, some kind of reaction in the sky? Or is this simply some reflection from the sun uh, being highlighted in this trail? Um, again, it's very strange. I'm going to get in even closer on it. And uh, right now, I'm kind of stumped. I want to get your guys' opinion. What is going on in this video, Brent? Any words before we get to the next? Oh, I like this, Blake. It's good. It's a good submission. It, could there be a prism effect happening, kind of a, a bending of light in between the, the contrail itself? This is one of the weirdest sky phenomena, I guess you could call it. But what I see is a chemtrail that sputtered. A chem, not the actual chemtrail, mind you, but you know what I mean? When, they, when they're spraying it out, it's almost as if there was an air bubble in the tank and it was shooting out a, a little bit and then it coughed, <laughs> you know, and it let out a little bit and then that's all that was left in it and then it uh, diminished. So that's what it looks like to me. However, it is reflecting the light in a weird reflective way, the sunlight. And it looks really thin and it's not spreading out. Maybe this is a new type of chemical or maybe this is what the end of the uh, end of the spray looks like. You know what I mean? When it's at the end of the uh, contaminant. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's awfully strange. It looks like a spider web, right? But it's not. It's huge. Yeah, it's really cool. Never seen anything like it in all my years being alive. Real interesting stuff. This is why we do what we do. And there is a little strangeness to it. Kind of like a Q-tip in a way, right? <laughs> all right, let's get to the next one. Could this be the infamous TR3B? I'm going to do a side by side comparison. It's a little hard to see, but uh, when you look at it, it definitely resembles the infamous TR3B in its triangular form. I don't see any FAA lights. I'm, I'm doing my best to try and highlight it. What is this object, Brent? Yeah, I like the way it just hovers there. It's definitely not a plane. It'd be cruising along a little faster. This thing's staying rather stationary and seems to be motionless. It's kind of wild, Blake, and it does definitely resemble the TR-3B hiding in the night skies. Yeah, um, from the eyewitness, he describes it as a triangle, and everybody knows the infamous TR-3B is reverse engineered technology, and apparently there was no sound in the video. Uh, he wants to grab his girlfriend or wife to quickly look at what he captured. I wish we had more video, but you could see this object, whatever it is, uh, kind of traverse in the night sky behind the trees. And again, the FAA lights aren't very uh, visible. It's just basically three lights uh, pretty much remaining consistent in their brightness. Again, I'm asking you guys, what is going on? Is this uh, the secret space force being more bolder, flying over the skies of uh, Irvine, California, Wow, right over Irvine, California. You would think a lot of people would see this, but I, I don't know. Well, we have what we see here, three, three objects in the sky and a guy with a night vision camera, night vision goggle, whatever. I wanted to be the nice guy and say, yeah, yeah, it looks like a TR-3B, but then I saw something really familiar and it triggered a memory I had of something that I've seen several times and at night. You ready? Yes, they are. These night vision goggles are picking up a low flying set or trio of 
And you could even see them recoil back and forth and just going through the sky quietly. It, it is. It's, it, I've seen it before. The city lights or that uh, night vision is really strong. That's what I think it is. Look, I'm only here to help. I'm not here to hurt anybody. But if that's a TR3B, somebody better eject real quick. All right, last video of the night. Let's take it away, Brent Blake. Just off the coast of Greenland in Canada, an obscure, massive circular object appears beneath the ice. We're looking at it very closely. And some people are saying that this is some kind of possible hidden civilization from millions of years ago. We're looking at it right now, getting a close up look and definitely it's circular in shape. Is this something natural or unnatural? We got Brent here. What's going on? Yeah, this is a good one straight off of Google Earth. Let's just show this so they don't scrub this in the future. Google has a, a tendency of scrubbing pictures of new discoveries that are found on their system. But right now we got you. This is something that shows mathematics, a circumference of something that's laying beneath the snow across the mountains that can't be described as anything but an ancient civilization. We're looking at Google Earth and right now the symmetrical shape stands out uh, beyond belief. Is this something natural or unnatural? Geometric circular 360 shape is one of the most hardest things to replicate in nature itself and we're looking at it. It is massive. Some people are actually speculating that this is some kind of lost civilization from long ago revealing itself right now on Google Earth. There is some history behind it that Google has only captured once in its whole time of surveying planet Earth, this image right now. So we're gonna be supplying the original link below. We wanna get your thoughts so you could do your own investigation. Let us know in the comments, is there something going on in Canada that we're not aware of? Yeah, more glacial evidence of melting, revealing things that have not been recognized till now well we've seen these before but i'm not sure this is it this looks like it, oh boy that looks like a ufo right it looks like there's a hatch on the top of the dome that could be uh, a disc shaped craft a off-world vehicle perhaps or look at that wait look at the shadow you can see the conical shaped on the top there that's amazing. Oh, that's that's kind of weird. I wonder if we're getting an optical illusion or that thing was under the snow and maybe it's coming out because the ice is melted. Look, if that thing was under the ice for 500,000 years or 50,000, whatever, and we're going through this ice, you know, where the ice is melting in certain parts, that may be popping up from under the ice. People weren't going to know if it was under two miles of ice. Interesting, beautiful. I don't know what to say. I think that is uh, possibly an ice circle or a disc shaped UFO <laughs> or or it's a hut of some sort. Anyway, pretty good stuff tonight. So I want to thank Third Phase of Moon for this wonderful archive where we can go back in history and still try to figure out the things we've seen before but didn't have an answer for and i'll be back next time here on third phase ufo report you can watch me on goof on monday through saturday 10 p.m eastern 7 p.m pacific six nights a week and here on third phase ufo report and sometimes on third phase of moon thanks guys we'll see you next time I want to thank everybody from around the world, including Rich, for his incredible participation in this episode. There's a lot of UFO sightings. It's on the rise right now. And if you captured anything amazing out there, you know where to send it. My Gmail is in the description. We'll try it and get it out as fast as possible. That's what we do right here. And appreciate you guys in the live premiere. It really means a lot to us. All the support, the super chats. You guys are amazing. Everybody. Be safe out there. Keep your eyes on the skies. Blake Cousins. We'll see you next time. I think it's terrifying. I mean, this seems potentially like one of the biggest stories of my lifetime.
And I don't care if it's about UFOs or whatever you call it. Something that we don't understand is getting very close to our military aircraft. The technologies related to energy generation should come out first. This hybrid aerospace underwater craft is able to basically generate an electromagnetic field. It is uh, President Trump's belief that the United States must remain as dominant in space as we are on land and sea in the air. And your charge is to see to that mission with the United States Space Force. I mean, there were three people on my team assassinated, and I was almost killed with a lot of people that would like to know what's going on. It's a matter of national security. But apparently, just recovered are off-world vehicles not made on this Earth. The president will respond to the subject the way they want them to. There's a black box with all the technologies that would give us a civilization that's sustainable, peaceful, etc., and it's been around for decades. Everybody's asking the biggest question in the world. Are we alone? Look, it's holding, it's that just stalled out there. The narrative that's being launched, which is a false narrative, is that we're not alone and that those civilizations are a threat. The problem is, is that the public has to be informed and involved. Uh, it could be a brief statement saying, hallelujah, I'm, you know, I'm finally vindicated. I don't, I, I'm not completely convinced they're going to let this stay like it is. But the people who are surrounding that level of, of our politicians and government are not told. Like the movie Independence Day, where we'll say, let's go kick alien butt. 